Hi, can you hear me and see me? Good morning, good morning, everybody on the chat right here. Hi, hi, hi. So we're going to look at solu solutions and colligative properties today. I have this graph right up on my screen, which is also the thumbnail of this. We'll start with this right away. What is this about? Do you know what this is about, this graph? Very quickly, starting off right away for people who come in early. I don't want to penalize them by waiting for more students to join in. Let's start this, all right? So what is this? Here, I've got temperature and on top, I've got the vapor pressure. You know this idea, right? That when the vapor pressure is the same as atmospheric pressure, that's when you say that something boils, right? liquid boils. Check this out. This is the vapor pressure of a pure solvent. Okay, say pure water, right? Now, as soon as I put some amount, now this blue line is when I put a little bit of a solute in it, very tiny amounts of solute in it. And right away, the vapor pressure falls. Because the vapor pressure falls, check this out, this blue line, it gets pushed to the right. Yeah, The boiling point now is higher than what you expect. That's why you, there's an elevation in boiling point. The reason I'm doing this theory is that because students, a lot of times they remember that there's elevation in boiling point and there's a depression freezing point, but they don't, you know, they don't internalize why this is so. This graph tells you why that happens, okay? Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Easy kill, no? Everyone wants to be alive. Why kill, etc., etc. I'm going to respond to all chats here. Start with some very interesting theory right away. So there is an elevation in boiling point because there is a depression. <laughs> the vapor pressure falls when you add a little bit of solute in a pure solvent. What that also does, this, by the way, is called a phase diagram if you want to read up more on it, okay? And there's some hidden tidbits here. I'll tell you about them in just a minute, right? What also happens is, look at this blue line. It's falling below this green line and it falls so much that what in effect it does is that, oh, the freezing point is also lower, okay? So the phase boundaries have kind of expanded. Liquid stays liquid for, uh, you know, for a greater, I wouldn't say duration, but a greater temperature range. That's what's happening. It's pushing the boundaries of the liquid phase on both sides, okay? On the, on, on the solid side as well as the vapor side, which is why there's a depression and freezing point. Now this graph, it has not been tested in the JE main for some years. It did come in the JE advanced paper a few years back. I just thought I'll start with some theory right away. Hey, you'll find all that, yeah, real me Android, rated and all is fine. You get a couple of questions, Jay, which is like easy 4-8 marks, all right? That's what I think it is, okay? Most likely it's around that. But you can never know, you know, some teachers <laughs> this year, maybe in your paper, you may not have any questions. That's also possible. But mostly it's one or two questions, so easy marks. All right, hey, can we get that timer out of the way? It's a little big. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a very big timer on my screen, so I'm just like, hata do, yaar. So this is a in small theory about the whole idea of, you know, one particular colligative property, which is the elevation and boiling point and the depression and freezing point. Notice one small thing here. Check the slope of this graph. It's slightly negative, very slightly negative. Most substances have a slightly positive graph, which means it's like this. If you know why this is, leave answers in the comments. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. If you're not sure, think about it. We can talk about it towards the end of the session. Let's just start with the actual session, yeah? I thought I'd start with some very interesting theory right away. This is a quick summary of elevation and boiling point and depression and freezing point. Anyway, this is what I have in store for you today. Solution and colligative properties, starting it off right away. Okay, what are the formulas you need for the actual paper? That was some theory, right? Let's start, let's list all of them. I was talking about there's a bit of a fall in the vapor pressure, right? You can figure that out by Raoult's law. Now this is for ideal solutions, right? And there's a vapor pressure above each solution as well. I'm talking about you adding a non-volatile solute in a volatile solvent. That's what we're doing right here, right? If you have two liquids, both of which are volatile, in that case, you use Dalton's law as well because they will have some sort of a vapor pressure above it. YA, YB, etc., etc. If you don't remember the theory, that's okay. Remember these equations. We'll look at the individual theory in the questions that we do, right? This is the formula you need to calculate the mole fraction of the solute added, right? P0 is pure solvent and uh, PS is the, part, the pressure, the vapor pressure of the solution itself. Basic theory, this is there in NCRT everywhere. Delta TF is IKF times M, where M is molality. I is Vanthoff factor. I'm giving you the crux of the whole thing. Yeah, we are doing a quick, quick, quick power pack session where we do around 10, 11 questions, right? So I'm gonna write all formulas with I. I know you were taught without I and then later they introduced Vanthoff factors, blah, blah, blah. That's all right. You're past that, right? Hey, hello, 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 hello. Bilingual mate. Okay, Tapanji, what do you want to talk about? I can talk about Hindi. If someone doesn't understand it, 
आई एम ऑल राइट मैं आपको हिंदी में भी बता दूंगा ठीक है या 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 ठीक है हम लोग कोशिश करते हैं कि दोनों चीज ट्राई करें आपका पेपर तो नहीं भाई इंग्लिश में ही है बट श्योर आपको अगर कोई चीज नहीं समझ में आती है तो मैं आपको हिंदी में भी बता दूंगा दैट्स फाइन सो डेल्टा टी बी इज आई के बी टाइम्स एम राइट यू नो दिस फॉर्मुला इज वेल दिस इज एलुएशन एंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट डिप्रेशन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ये हम लोग डिटेल में कर चुके हैं इन द होल यू नो दियरी दैट जस्ट लुक दैट पाई विच इज वट इज पाई पाई इज ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर राइट ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर इज आई सी आर टी अगेन आई एम पुटिंग आई इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑल द कॉलेगेट प्रॉपर्टीज I know you've been taught it differently. First they teach you that, then they do I, etc. But that's all right. If I is greater than one, that means that oh, dissociation is happening. More number of particles are present than they were there before. I is less than one is association. This is not to mug. Okay, this is the crux of all the theory in this chapter. It's very easy. बहुत आसान है to derive it very quickly. But it's a summary of all the colligative properties. But this you will get any marks in this. Okay. Mostly questions on azeotropes and uh, those things have not been tested in the past couple of years. बट या ठीक है लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड आई टॉक अबाउट आई अ लिटिल बिट मोर दो आई इज दी ऑब्जर्व कॉलेगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी डिवाइड बाय द कैलकुलेटेड कॉलेगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी फॉर एग्जांपल एन ए सी एल वुड हैव टू पार्टिकल्स टू टू आई ऑन्स राइट पर मॉलिक्यूल बट द कैलकुलेटर वुड बी वन राइट बिकॉज एन ए सी एल इज जस्ट वन थिंग एज सुन इज पुरेड इन वॉटर दो बन जाते हैं तो इसीलिए एन ए सी एल का दो होगा Now, if it's a molar mass, then it will be theoretical molar mass by experimental molar mass because, देखिए अगर molar mass बढ़ रहा है मतलब कि हमारे number of particles कम हो रहे हैं, so it's inversely proportional. Again, just quickly revising the theory before we start off with the questions. This, according to me, is really important because इसको अगर आप कर लें तो ये theory से ही आपको बहुत सवाल पूछे गए हैं, okay? What is delta H of mixing? Delta V of mixing for an ideal solution, non-ideal solution, right? Positive deviation का मतलब क्या है? Can somebody tell me? Do you know what positive deviation means, by the way? Hey, where's the chat section? How come no one's active? Is it because we haven't started questions yet? We'll start with questions and then I suppose we'll see people saying A, B, C, or D, etc., etc. Care delta H of mixing is zero for an ideal solution, right? And if there's positive deviation, it says greater than zero, less than zero. इसको कैसे figure out करें? देखिए, positive deviation is talking about pressure. All of this has to do with pressure ideas, okay? And we'll look at graphs that will that'll help you internalize this. For right now. Positive deviation के लिए delta v mixing is greater than zero. Ah, positive deviation means the partial pressure is more than what you expect. Okay, which means that it vaporizes easily. Okay, which means that there there are no interactions. Okay, it's a a. If you remember this a a and you know b b, these interactions are stronger than a b interactions. That's what this means. If you remember that, ठीक है. And if the final volume कम हो रहा है, if the delta final volume is reducing, then A A and A B interactions are less than A B interactions. It means that you know, like when you put water and ethanol, उसमें जो है एक अजूट्रोप बनता है और लाइट तो A B interactions are greater, तो volume कम हो जाता है. Delta ये भी जो है negative है. Delta H mixing भी negative है. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, graph curves up or down? Ah, Ashutosh, absolutely. Positive deviation में graph कौन सा graph पर Ashutosh? This is the P versus X. ये वाला graph upward होता है. Temperature वाला graph downward होता है. ठीक है. ये मैं नेक्स्ट बोलने वाला था बट आपने मेरी यू नो मुंह से बात छीन ली वेरी गुड वेरी गुड एब्सोल्युटली सो सेम चीज अगर हम लोग डेल्टा एस की बात करेंगे राइट यू कैन सी दैट फॉर अ सिस्टम एंट्रोपी हमेशा बढ़ती है सराउंडिंग इज इंटरेस्टिंग बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है आइडियल के लिए सराउंडिंग जीरो होता है एंड डेल्टा एस सराउंडिंग इज लेस एन जीरो क्यों क्योंकि यहां पर डेल्टा वी इज ग्रेटर एन जीरो अगर वॉल्यूम बढ़ रहा है तो कहां बढ़ रहा है इट्स पुशिंग अगेंस्ट सराउंड राइट सिस्टम जो है सराउंडिंग अगेंस्ट पुश करता है ये थोड़ा सा ऐसा आइडिया है जो मेनली जेई मेन में शायद नहीं टेस्ट किया जाएगा बट जस्ट इन केस वो स्लाइटली डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन मे बी एडवांस में आएगा जेई मेन में शायद ये नहीं पूछा जाए सराउंडिंग के बारे में ठीक है सिमिलरली यहां पर डेल्टा एस सराउंडिंग इज ग्रेटर जीरो बिकॉज डेल्टा वी इज लेस देन जीरो एक बार में फिर से आपको पिछले पिछले वाले में जाता हाई हाई कार्तिक एन हाई आइडियल टेल्स Ideal tails, remember <laughs> duck tails. Look here, delta V mixing is less than zero. Last one, me right? Negative deviation me. Matlab ki delta S surrounding less than zero. Volume kam ho raha hai. Matlab surrounding isko push kar rahi hai. Is tarike se ham log isko internalize kar sakte hain. ठीक है? ये बहुत जरूरी था. But maybe for advance, जे ये मेन के लिए शायद ये ना पूछा जाए. And बाकी तो ये आप इससे सेम. You know, you would know this by the way. That delta S हमेशा बढ़ता है of the universe for when you mix things. And delta G हमेशा कम होता है. इसपे सवाल आ चुके हैं by the way. Okay. Uh, जो ग्राफ दैट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कर्व्स अपवर्ड्स या श्योर कार्तिक इंग्लिश हिंदी विल डू एवरीथिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट्स आर वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड आई विल आई विल टॉक अबाउट देम इन इंग्लिश एंड आल्सो इफ समवन रीड्स आई कैन आल्सो ट्रांसलेट इन हिंदी दैट्स आल्सो फाइन ऑल राइट सो दिस इज द ग्राफ व्हेन यू हैव टू 
volatile uh, solvents, <laughs> two volatile liquids mixing, all right. Uh, P naught B and P naught A are the, the pressures of the pure solvents. When you mix them, this is what the graph looks like. This is for an ideal solution. Now, if you make a non-ideal, which means there's a positive deviation, this is what it looks like. Upward graph, as somebody pointed out. Yeah, Ashutosh, upward graph, right. But what if I make a temperature versus X diagram? This would have a downward graph. Okay, this is what I want you to internalize. This is extremely important. Okay, exact opposite of this. Do you understand this? Give me a thumbs up if you understand. This is extremely important. Temperature, if the partial pressure is high, that means that the temperature at which the liquid, you know, becomes vapor, that would be lower. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'll help you out ideal, ideal lens. Don't, don't worry, Os osmotic pressure is doable. We have, we have a one, one or two questions in the end. And we also have another solutions thing which we did in day one of the marathon. Great, Yash understands this, that's amazing. What are the rest of it, do you follow this? In the same case, if we have a negative deviation, when we talk about this is negative deviation, then you have all this other theory, but this T versus X graph is going to be upwards. This is like the, what do you call it? The uh, azeotrope, right? Matlab temperature is going to be much higher, like the boiling point is going to be higher because the vapor pressure is reduced. Because the definition that you know, right, from uh, states of matter, that, oh, boiling happens when the atmospheric, then when the vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. So if I've lowered the vapor pressure, then it takes more effort to boil it. Hence the temperature should increase. Thank you. It's all right, Vineet, you're most, you're welcome everyone. It's good that you're here. I wanted to start right away. I didn't want to wait because so many students are already here. So that's why I just started with some theory. We'll get started with the questions right about now. So you're here right on time for the questions. We did a bit of theory. You can revise that later. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's start with a straightforward question. This question I had shown you if you've been around for the last couple of sessions. I showed you the app, right? There was a previous year paper which we saw this question. Let's solve this one. What we're going to do in this session is I'll give you a question. Read it out. Then I'll give you some time to solve it. I want you to type out the answer there. And then we'll discuss if you want need my help. All right. So two two solutions A and B are prepared by dissolving one gram of a non volatile non volatile solutes X and Y. Oh, you have to have two solutes here in one kg of water. The ratio of depression in freezing points for A and B is found to be one is to four. ठीक है. So there are two different solutions, not the same solution. ठीक है. So don't worry. It's not a complicated question at all. So let's try and solve this. Do you need any hint on this? I'm going to give you thirty seconds to solve it. Let's try solving this question. Right. And give me what your answer is. Now this, what was what were the options? Hold on, let me go back to this. I'll put I'll leave it on this so you know what the options are. Give me A, B, C, or D on, in the answers. Yeah. I'm just gonna quickly get water. Yeah. Okay, okay. I see a couple of answers. Great, great. Good to see this. Very quick answers. Good job, Vineet, Reva Chase, and Ridita. Oh, and Ashutosh. Missed out your name. You were the first chap to answer. Great, great job, great job. Okay, great, great. So it looks like all of you have got the answer, folks who are trying it out. I think we have other people on the chat who are not really commenting. Come on, please. I mean, on the video, give me your answers. Shall I go ahead and solve this? Maybe for the Yash, great job. It looks like everyone is converging on B. So I'm going to solve this anyway for folks who maybe are watching this video afterwards because everybody in the chat, yes, Mola Mass Inversely Proportional. Perfect, yeah. What's straightforward, sir, Sawal? Right. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I don't even have to solve this, but I will, just for st students who are watching this afterwards. Absolutely, excellent. Hey, Nidhi, good morning, good morning. We just got started with the first question we just did. Puneet, absolutely right. B is the right answer. Because, as Ashutosh pointed out correctly, molar mass is inversely proportional. Okay. And I'm writing all formulas, and you should do this too, with the I idea there, right? So, I, KF times M is what I write this. And delta, the ratio of TFs, is going to depend only on molality here. Why? Because... K is same. Remember, K depends only on the solvent, right? In this case, what is it? F or B or KF? Okay. This depends on the water. So, molality is what's going to make the difference. Now, molality may, the mass is the same, but molar mass obviously changes. As somebody pointed out, Ashutosh pointed out earlier, that the molar mass is inversely proportional to molality. I'm doing this a little slowly because sometimes students, you know, messes up in the hurry. I've seen students say, ki, oh, mass. Hey, to mass to directly proportional hona chahiye. No, it's molar mass that's inversely proportional. So be careful about this. And because this question, cryoscopic constant. This is the absolutely KF is cryoscopic constant. Thank you. KB kya hota hai? Quick batayye comments mein. <laughs> what is KB? Anyway, uh, 
So it's inversely proportional, which means that if this is 1 is 2, that should be that should be 4 is to 1. And you may initially think, yeah, 4 is to 1 to answer me. Hey, nebuloscopic constant. Absolutely right, Ashutosh. Good stuff, good stuff. So 4 is to 1 is not there, but you have 1 is to 0.25, the same thing, right? In a hurry, please don't mark it. Let's move on to the next question quickly. I'm not spending too much time on this. Oh, no, no, spelling to bhot sahi. Many spelling bhot kharab hoti hai. Ashutosh, you are doing a great job. I think that's correct. Maybe ek I extra ge, but chalta hai. Many spelling bhot kharab hai, bhai. And especially Ajkal. Yeah, sure, Devinder. What do you want me to repeat? Which part, Devinder? Quickly, I will tell you. See, in this question, we were supposed to find out the ratio of molar masses of X and Y, right? We were given the non-volatile solutes X and Y having the same mass, right? That's why this molality is only dependent on inversely, it's inversely proportional to the molar masses of solute, right? Since this 1 is to 4, that will be 4 is to 1, right? That's the answer. Hence, hence it's 1 is to 0.25. Uh, did you get that, Devinder? Is that all right? Yeah? It's given that the depression and freezing points is 1 is to 4. And why would depression and freezing point be different? If the masses are the same, then molar masses must be different. And that's the ratio we found out. All right. Awesome. Great, great, great. Let's go on to the next question. Straightforward question, theoretical. But this from a JE paper, yeah? For a solution of gases A, B, C, and D in water at 298 Kelvin, the values of Henry's law can constant KH are given to you 30.4, 2.34, very low 10, point, 10 power minus 5, and 0.53 kilobar respectively. Now in this, which one do you think it is? I've read the question out for you. I'm going to uh, give you 15 seconds to answer this. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, this is very direct, but you need to know what the whole equation is. If you don't know the equation, it could be difficult. Yeah. So you have four values of kh, and there are like different slant, the different uh, what curves. Like in math, everything a curve, you do a straight line. So the the what shall I call it? The slant, <laughs> the slope. Yeah, the slope is different for all of these. What is p and s? A, b, c, and d. Which of these is p and s? Answers, please. I don't see any answers in the. Is my video working? <laughs> this should be a straightforward question, now. Huh? Answers, please, on the chat. Okay, I see one person saying one, another person saying two. What what do you guys have? Hey, that's weird. I see two on my phone, but that's not coming. Ah, it's come there. There's a bit of a lag on what I'm seeing here. Hey, Umesh, good morning. Oh, only two answers. I thought this would be a very easy question. I thought all of you will answer this correctly. Do you not remember what KH is? You know, the Henry's constant. You know, you know if you uh, do this basic theory, right, a lot of times JE main ask questions directly. What about the rest of you? You're not sure about this? You need help? Give me a thumbs up if you need help with this. I'll help you out. Don't worry. Don't, don't, don't mind me saying asan sawal, easy sawal. I'm here to help you out. Yeah, it is exactly. It's a previous year question. That's the focus of this session idea. We are doing previous year questions to prove to you that we can solve these very, very easily. Okay, you want to help? Okay, sure, sure, sure. So look, what is the expression? It's very straightforward, right? Kh is the slope of this graph when you do p versus x. Why? Because p is equal to kh times x. Okay. That's it. Yehi tha. Hence, yeah, I think the folks here, what they're saying are, are right. This should be p, right? A should be p. And the smallest one, which is almost 0, I mean, you know, 1.56 into minus 5, that should be this chap s here, which happens to be c. So the answer would be 1 a and c. It's a very straightforward question. Just using this expression, p is equal to kh times x. I know at times in NCRT, that's all right. That's all right, Ashutosh. Yeah, be careful. Ah, achha, achha. Yeh aap ki galti ho. Yeah, that's all right. Don't worry. This is a learning experience, right? To be able to read the question and in a sort of a pressure environment, do it quickly. That's why I said let's do 15 seconds. It's all right. We spend a couple of minutes discussing it right now because this is a learning between you and me. Exactly. Ek hoga, Ridita. Absolutely right. Yeah. So it'll be A and C. Is that clear? Give me a thumbs up. I want, I want us to build some momentum and go on to the next question. Yeah, we are doing all right. Shall we go to the next question? Is the chat updating? Ah, okay, great, great, great. Cool, let's go to the next question. Awesome. Question number three, what do we have for you now? This one's very interesting. Oh, I like this question. I really like this question. <laughs> okay, all right, look here. One kg of an aqueous solution of sucrose is cooled I'll give you time, don't worry, 6 seconds is alright. And maintain at negative 4 degrees Celsius. So, how do you think about it? Okay, I really like this question. 
how much ice will be separated? Karthik, are you able to follow, right? I'm speaking English and also there was another person who was Hindi. Mein bol raha tha. Main dono kar raha I hope bo both of you are able to follow. How much ice will be separated out if the molality of solution is 0.75? Kf diya hua hai. That's it. You have three things here. Temperature and you also have one kilogram. This is important. One kilogram of aqueous solution. Let's call this the basis. The basis is one kilogram of our aqueous solution. And it's maintained at this temperature. And you're given the molality and Kf value diya hua hai. Good morning. Hey, Sridhar. Good morning. Try this question out. And if by chance, if by chance you feel that yaar, nahi ho hai, or I don't know where to start, I'm here. Tell me. This is one of those things. This is a numerical answer. Hai. Mein chuka hai pehle sawal. So, try it. If you starting point, chahiye, aapko ek pe starting point nahi aata hai, tell me. I'll help you out. Yeah, process. If you have done two steps, kar de, but what do I do next? I'm not sure. I'm here for that. Are ideal tales. Did you Google the answer? I hope you didn't. That's the right answer. Good job. Can you tell the others kaise kiya aapne? I'm, I'm really impressed by you, man. Great job. If you actually listen to this mind, really amazing. Amazing. Uh, what about the rest of the folks here? I'm here to help if you need a starting point or what to do and stuff like that. Ideal, you want to tell us your process? It'll really help the rest of your friends out here. And aapka naam ke, we are saying ideal tales. <laughs> starting point, all right. Dekhye, thik hai. Starting point ye hai ki isko, you know, let's take a hammer approach to this problem. Not the best way to do it, but let's just take a hammer to this problem. You know this expression, right? That delta Tf is equal to, yes, freezing point formula. Thik hai, haan. Ye, ye to bilkul sahi bola apne, but thoda sa or go into detail. Assume that you are teaching your friends how to do this. How will you teach them? Ki, yaar, kaise ki, aap, kaise how will you teach your friends how to start this question? So you do this delta Tf equal to Ikf things. And when you do this calculation, you will see that yaar, delta Tf is not negative 4. Yeah? Ridita, do you see that? You solved it. Are, good job, ideal. Good, good. I really appreciate that. The first thing for you to do is to solve all previous year questions. 5 and 5 ni kuch aur, approximately uske aspas hai, but good, good stuff. Right? When you do this, it's not minus 4. Now what do you do? Now what do you do? Right? Theek hai. Now this is, this is where you need to know the theory. 1.395, let's put a negative there. Negative 1.395 degrees Celsius is where it starts to freeze. Hai na? Achha. Now, between this negative 1.395 and negative 4, kya hoga? Pani will keep freezing out. I don't know, pura pani freeze out hoga, kam kitna, pada nahi. But freezing shuru hogi, freezing will start. That's important. Now, okay, what do you do? Let's see. If it starts freezing, if I found, find out the mass, you know ki achha, total pani kitna tha, I was going to write pani. How much water and how much solute is there at negative 1.3 and 5? And then I say, oh, negative 4 pe kitna hona chahiye. Then I can find out ice, you right? Hey, sorry, you saying something? No, it's all right. It's all right. I thought Krishna said something. That's all right. So, yeah, Tf equals to m times Kf. Exactly. So, you do that. And negative 1.395, you get that the mass of sucrose in one kilogram of solvent, we can find that out. Below this point, what you do is ki, ah, the mass of sucrose to same hi raega, Right? Pani starts freezing out. Mass of sucrose same raha hai. Achha. So, if mass of sucrose is same, and the water starts, matlab, automatically delta Tf must increase. Do you see that? Do you see that? Yeah? If the mass of water starts reducing, it's that simple equation, na? Delta Tf is Ikf times m. Now, in this molarity business, you have, this molarity is proportional to mole of solute and mass of solvent. This molarity of solute is constant, right? Because sucrose to sucrose is there. Sucrose is not going anywhere. It's a non-volatile solvent. I start freezing out some water. That means the mass of solvent reduces. If mass of solvent reduces, then delta Tf increases. So, ah, that's how I will get a delta Tf of minus 4. Hai? That's why water will freeze out. Do you understand this theory? Calculation is straightforward. Hai. But this theory, are you okay with this theory? Give me a thumbs up. If you didn't understand, I'm okay to repeat it. Yeah? How's that theory for you? Let me know. Let me know in the comments over here. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I will repeat for sure, Ashutosh. So, at negative 1.395 degrees Celsius, water starts to freeze out. 
राइट बिकॉज दैट्स फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट दैट चेंज फ्रीज जैसे कि माइनस छोड़ो जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस पे पानी फ्रीज होना शुरू होता है राइट बट अगर आप उसमें सोल्यूट डाल दो तो दैट प्रोसेस डज नॉट गेट कंप्लीटेड एट जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस इट्स नॉट वन पॉइंट ओके इट कुड बी फर्दर डाउन द लाइन ना वॉट यू डू इस अच्छा आई कीप कूलिंग इट फ्रॉम नेगेटिव वन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन फाइव टू नेगेटिव फोर बिकॉज मेरे पास ये सोल्यूट है राइट पानी की इज फ्रीजिंग आउट और वो सॉल्वेंट में थोड़ा पानी हमेशा रहता है कितना पानी रहेगा दैट यू कैन गेट अच्छा आई विल चेंज इज डेल्टा टी एफ टू नेगेटिव फोर नाउ विदुलेशन वाइज इट्स फोर देन आई विल गेट ओ ये मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट कितना है जो बचा हुआ है उल्टा थोड़ा यू नो ना कैसे पकड़ने का सीन कि यू गेट मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट देन अच्छा इनिशियली पानी इतना था अभी इतना पानी बचा है सब करेंगे तो मतलब इतना फ्रीज आउट हो गया होगा ठीक है लेट मी डू द न्यूमेरिकल एंड देन टेल मी इफ देर इज समथिंग दैट इज स्टिल अ कंसर्न राइट लेट मी सॉल्व गिव यू सम नंबर्स मे बी दैट विल हेल्प वट अबाउट एवरीबडी एल्स रेजिटर अंडरस्टैंड इट आइडियल इज ऑलरेडी सॉल्व बिफोर आशुतोष वॉन्स मी हैज आस मी रिपीटेड विच आई हैव डन वट अबाउट रेस्ट ऑफ द फोक्स ऑन दिस कॉल call <laughs> that's a habit right because we keep doing these meetings hey everyone you know, the call okay with this anyway so i'm going the opposite direction so the water in the solution plus the water of ice should be equal to 1000 g why because that's the basis right 1 kg of aqueous solution theek hai now let's just start with the numerical maine bahut theory de diya let's just start abhi number sir maybe you'll understand better you start that okay how much sucrose is there in 1 kg of solvent can i find that out सोल्वेंट सोल्यूशन होना चाहिए पहले ठीक है पहले सोल्वेंट करते हैं फिर सोल्यूशन में निकालेंगे ठीक है ये बेसिस है क्योंकि ये सवाल में दिया हुआ है Ideal. I'm really impressed that you've already done this before. That's great job. ठीक है. Mass of sucrose is how much? 0.75 into 342, right? ये है 256. कुछ नंबर आता है. मैं यहाँ पे लिखा हुआ है. But what is the total mass of solution? Total mass of solution होगा this plus the mass of the solvent, which is 1256.5 grams. अच्छा. अब हमको क्या करना है? अब हमको we have to go back to this and make this into वन किलोग्राम ऑफ एक्वा सोल्यूशन क्यों क्योंकि वही तो बेसिस है हमको सवाल में दिया है कि सोल्यूशन ये है एक किलोग्राम दिया हुआ है इन यू नो इफ आई सॉल्व इन द पेपर मे भी हो सकता है मैं ये सवाल नहीं करता बट मैं आपको बता रहा हूं ताकि आप इस टाइप का सवाल कर सके नहीं करता बिकॉज यार इस, इसमें सोचने में थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा एग्जैक्टली इन टू थाउजेंड थैंक यू आई डिल टेल्स एब्सोल्यूटली सो यू गोट टू टू फिफ्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव बाई वन टू फाइव सिक्स इन टू थाउजेंड दिस इज सिंपल यूनिटरी मेथड राइट अगर एक में इतना है तो हजार में कितना है This gives you कि एक में कितना होगा एक ग्राम में कितना होगा वन टू फाइव सिक्स वन सिक्स फाइव यूनिटी मेथड सो यू गेट दिस दिस इज योर मैजिक नंबर राइट हेयर विच मीन्स की थाउजेंड माइनस दिस इज गोट कमाउंट माइनस दिस वैल्यू टू जीरो फोर पॉइंट वन फोर इज द अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर इन राइट नाउ एट नेगेटिव वन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस एट दैट टेम्परेचर इतना पानी है बट मैंने फिर उसको और कूल किया मतलब कि वॉट है वाटर स्टार्ट्स टू फ्रीज आउट नाउ इस स्टेट को हम लोग कैसे कैलकुलेट करें देखिए जब टीएफ होता है नेगेटिव 4 मतलब सेम चीज करता हूं आई एम यूजिंग द सेम एक्सप्रेशन डेल्टा टीएफ इज आई के एफ टाइम्स एम सेम थिंग राइट ओनली थिंग आई हैव चेंज्ड इज मैंने इसको ऐसा ही रखा है नाउ रिमेंबर दिस इज नॉट 0.75 ठीक है बी केयरफुल 0.75 था अगर 1 kg सॉल्वेंट था बट मेरा सॉल्वेंट का अमाउंट पता नहीं मुझे कितना है बट आई नो फॉर श्योर कि एक किलोग्राम बेसिस में एक किलोग्राम सॉल्यूशन में 204 204.14 ग्राम इज देयर आर यू ओके विद व्हाट आई हैव रिटन ओवर हियर डोंट राइट 0.75 हियर ओके आपने यू हैव डन ऑल द हेवी लिफ्टिंग टिल हियर एंड देन इफ यू राइट 0.75 हियर यू विल गेट अ वेरी फनी आंसर डू यू फॉलो दिस व्हाई इज इट दैट आई हैव पुट 204.14 ओवर हियर बिकॉज़ द बेसिस इज 1 किलोग्राम ऑफ सॉल्यूशन कैन यू गिव मी अ थम्स अप इफ यू फॉलो दिस या सो इफ यू डू दिस then using this i can get the amount of water in this actual uh, what do you call this uh, this solution that has negative 4 degree celsius that's the that's the new temperature do you follow this i have a feeling that some students have come in the middle of this and were thoda lost hai but i seen the number increase slightly on the live but theek hai it's okay watch the replay if this is you know getting a bit heavy this 204.14 ah what is 277.5 ah are वैष्णवी वैष्णो वैष्णवी गुड जॉब अरे ये क्या है दैट्स दिस वैल्यू राइट हियर 
I'm like, this is 204. Good stuff. The weight of water remaining is 277.55. Matlab, rest must have frozen out. So this is very cool, right? Think about this. Think about this. Think about this. I put some sugar in water. Sucrose is just fancy for sugar, right? Sucrose I put in water. I put it in the fridge. Now when I do that, some water freezes out, not all of it. And some of it stays in solution. That's, what, that's the physical significance. And that just blows my mind. That just by putting some sucrose in it, I have managed to keep some of it in solution, some of it as ice. And that, that way, transporting it becomes easier, by the way. That's the whole point of all this. Go Anyway. Great, great, Vaishu. That's the right answer, absolutely. Right. So now, NAS of water initially was Kitra, this 795.86, which I told you, right? 1000 was the basis of the aqua solution. This was the mass of the thing in 1 kilogram of this. This is 0.75 mole into, uh, what was this? Uh, 256. This was basically converting this to the mass, 256 divided by 1256.5, right? This is what this was into 1000. When we did that, then we got this value, right? This was the initial water that was there. Now the final water in the negative 4 degrees, uh, this thing that is maintained, usme to itna hi pani hoga, which means rest of it is ice, which is the answer. Slightly long question. We spent some lot, a good amount of time on it. I want you to understand this. Okay. There is a high likelihood that this question is not going to come again in you know, the paper that is going to come in a week's time. But beautiful question. Tells you physical application of what happens when you reduce the temperature past the freezing point. Past the depressed freezing point even, right? Some ice, some water will freeze out. And this goes very well in the in line with that thing that I told you, right? Initially, I showed you this graph. This graph I'm trying to replicate uh, a little bit. This is what it was, right? Something like this. Now, this was solution. And this was pure solvent. Which means that there was a depression in freezing point, which is somewhere over here. This part is the delta T B, delta T F. Now, what happens is, oh, some ice freezes out. That's a very interesting thing. So if when you're trying to freeze something out, it's just going to be pure water. And that impurity is not going to come out. That's what I want to take away from it. Great. Great. Ideal. That's the best way. I love that attitude. Ideal. Hey, Swastika. Good to have you here. It's all right. It's all right. We're still on the third question. Uh, I'm spending, I've spent a lot of time on the third question. Okay. Revisit this. It's a beautiful question. Ideal. I did the same thing. I did the same thing. If there's a question that you like, and that defeats you, you must figure out the solution. Don't worry about getting stuck in how to solve it, how to solve it. See the solution, master it, so that you know the concept behind it. And this was one of those beautiful ideas. Okay, let's go on to the next question. The next question. I think now, we'll, we'll tone it down a little bit, and then we'll ramp it up again very quickly. 1.8 gram of a solute A was resolved in 62.5 centimeter cube of ethanol. Okay, here's the volume. Here's the volume, okay. Okay. Cool. And freezing point of the solution is found to be this. Remember, remember that the solvent now is ethanol. Please, for the love of God, don't assume that it's water. I've seen students do that, okay? Ethanol, the you will still convert it to water. Don't do that. The molar mass of solute A is what? You have to find the molar mass of this solute. Freezing point of ethanol is given as 156 Kelvin, which means depression is 0.9, right? Uh, yeah. Density of ethanol also given. Why do you need density of ethanol? Because you've been given the volume. You have to convert that to mass, right? Molality is not and you also have the K value. Take some time, solve it. Let's give me some answers. Swastika, it's all right. Better late than never. Uh, solve this question. Everybody else as well. Ideal, have you seen this also before? Ashutosh, three days. Are ha, yaar, aaj to 20 tarikh ho gai. Ashutosh, yaar, bilkul mera, yeah. Aaj to 20 tarikh ho gai. Mein abhi bhi last week mein tha. And uh, ek hafte baad to khatam ho jayega. 10 and 11 days will get over. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Where have you guys got your uh, centers and all of that? Are you, yeah. Is it close to what you wanted? I saw on Reddit some people who got it very different from what they had. Do you need any help solving this question? I'm just talking about random things so that gives you time to solve this question. If you need a hint, tell me. Kanpur, great, great, great. Is that where you are at? Is that was that one of your things? That's all right. That's all ideal. Abhi solve karte. Let's solve it again. Twenty fifth, eighty. Good job. Good job, Vaishu. Great, great. Thank you for solving it so quickly. Good, good. That's very nice, Ashutosh. I saw a lot of people on Reddit saying, ki, you know, I've given this as my center. Four options I've given, got a fifth one that's somewhere else. Uh, yeah, it's a difficult thing to organize an exam at such a big scale. So I understand, you know, I completely understand. It must be very logistical nightmare. Anyway, let's try and solve this question. If you need a hint, let me know. You got a 30th. All right, ideal. Great, great, great. That's nice. Morning shift or evening shift? Uh, afternoon, afternoon, right? I've got only one answer here, Vaishu. What about the rest of you? Can you tell me if you need any help? Otherwise, please go ahead, solve it. I'm doing time pass until you guys do it. Because some people have solved it, so I'm just chatting with them. Yeah? Not mentioned, huh? 
Oh, that comes later? Oh, achha. Achha, I didn't know that. Okay. Do you have to travel somewhere or is it in your same city where you are at? Some people have to do that. 30.75. Is that the answer, uh, Poon? All right. Theek hai, we'll look at the solution. Thank you, Poon, for solving this. Poon Raj. Cool name, man. Uh, what's that? Oh, you, you got the, uh, the iconography going for you. That's nice. Do you want to take a sip of water and we'll continue. Anybody, anybody needs any hint on this one? I'll tell you what. I'm going to quickly show you the solution. You need to travel, huh? Okay, yeah. Have a, have a safe trip, man. And all the best with your tests, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. Delta TF is IKF times M. I'm quickly going to solve it. Do you need more time or should I continue? If you need more time, give me like a need more time kind of a thing. Money Kanta, you want, you want, you want, you would like some more time? Is that what you're saying? Let me know, let me know. Just want to keep the pace going, yeah? All right. So, uh, what you've got to do is write down the same expression. Moles of solute by 1 kg of solvent. Now, here's the thing, right? The mass, of, the mole of solute is simply mass by molar mass. This is straightforward, right? Mass is given to you. Molar mass is what you've got to find out. 1.8 is the mass. Molar mass is what we don't know. And also, you don't have the mass of solvent. You have the volume of solvent. You have delta Tf. That's given to you. That's straightforward, okay? Now, mass of solvent, we get that from this volume of solvent, right? Volume is this thing, 62.5. Density is given to you. So, density into volume is mass. Very straightforward, very straightforward. That's all right. Arun, hey, Arun Kumar. I, I'm, I'm explaining this question. Sure, sure, sure. Cool. Mass is volume and density. Whatever that is, happens to be a nice easy number. But if it's not, it's okay. Leave it in, in your you know calculation form. Maybe something will cancel out. It just so happens that this is a nice number. So, when once you get this, TF is given to you, mass is given to you. I think now it's just a one equation, one variable. This is the only unknown. Let's solve it. Very, very straightforward thing from here onwards, right? Uh, I think what you get is 80, right? Make sure that you convert this to 1000. The reason why you're multiplying with 1000 on top is to convert it to 1 kilogram of solvent, right? Because that is the definition of molality. As students, sir, you don't get why 15.9. Acha? <laughs> I have a feeling I know what happened here. Did you did you take it to be water? Dekho, ethanol is given, right? Freezing point of ethanol is, is 156. And the new one is 155.1. Hena? <laughs> yeah. Dev Pratim, please batayye. Please tell me, what's your doubt? Uh, ideal tales, did you get that? Dude, it's very really funny calling you ideal tales, man. I'm just going to call you tales. It sounds even funnier, but I'm going to go with tales. Uh, did you get why it's 0.9? Yeah? Don't do 370 or whatever, 273. Yeah. That's for water. Our solvent here now is uh, ethanol. So, I hope that's clear. Dev Pratim, doubt? Kya hai? Please batayye. After this, molar mass is straightforward. No, it's 80 gram per mole. Just do a cross multiplication. Great. Okay. I guess you're taking time to type it out. It's all right, Dev Pratim. You can type. We'll, we'll go on to the next question and, you know, you can type it out till then. Cool. Question number five. Okay. Ions. Achha. When will you understand? Whether you take volume meter cube. Ashutosh. Great point. I think uh, the deal is, ki dekhye, because, hmm. Volume in meter cube. I'll just go back to that question and to answer this better. Look here, density di gai hai gram per centimeter cube mein, right? Which is gram per centimeter cube mein density hai and volume is 62.5 centimeter cube. So this is quite direct because ab isko cross multiply karenge, dekhi, units will get cancelled out. Where we do that calculation? Hold on. I'll just go back there to that slide and show you. So here, when you're doing this, see, this per cc and cm cube, this will cancel out. If for some brilliant reason, if it was written as, you know, liter or something, then maybe you'll have to think a little bit. But here, I feel it was a direct thing. Centimeter cube. Exactly. It gets cancelled. Okay, that was, that was to address your thing. Dev Pratim, what were you asking me? You're asking if the ions will dissociate or associate. Dekhi, agar ions form ho rahe hain, generally dissociate hoge na? Because the whole concept of ions is dissociation. Aap paani mein kisi cheez ko daliye, it'll dissociate. And if it's an electrolyte, it dissociates completely. Uh, weak electrolyte dissociates partially, etc, etc. But there are many things around it. Association normally happens when there's polymerization or dimerization or us type ki cheese. Jaise ki CSCCOH, that dimerizes, right? Before I read out this question, let me let me just write that here. So, it's going to be off topic if you're going to see this on the telegram group, like why am I writing CSCCOH here? I think this dimerizes. My organic is not that great. But usually if it's dimerization or polymerization, that's when you have association, right? Most of the cases is dissociation. 
extent of dissociation depends on stronger weak. Oh no, CSCCOH also gives you uh, this thing, right? It's, it dissociates. So dimerization and polymerization, if it happens, then it's association. Otherwise, it's usually some extent of dissociation. We'll have a question on that coming up soon on CSCCOH. Anyway, a, a gaseous mixture of two substances A and B under a total pressure of 0.8 atmosphere is in equilibrium with an ideal solution. Okay, ideal liquid solution in equilibrium. Okay. Hmm. Two gases above an li ideal liquid solution. The mole fraction of substance A is 0.5 in the vapor phase and 0.2 in the liquid phase. Ah, yevala yaad hai. I told you about this, right? There was this graph that we showed you, something like this, P not A, P not B, etc, etc. It's that kind of question, right? And you have to use Dalton's law as well over here because you've got a liquid and vapor phase. The vapor pressure of pure liquid A is what? Figure this out. I'll give you 30 seconds for this. Maybe direct. You're most welcome, Dev Pratim. Any doubts are most welcome. Please, please shoot as many doubts as you guys have. Uh, try and do this question. It's doable if you are able to connect Raoult's law to Dalton's law of partial pressure, right? It's very doable. Uh, it may be a bit of a googly if you don't make that connection. Yeah, <laughs> how on earth do I find out vapor phase? Mein kya ho because dekhe, they are ideal, uh, you know, liquids. Ideal liquids have some amount of vapors above them all the time that you get with P naught A. But because when they mix, the ratio at which they will, you know, be present in a vapor phase will be given by Dalton's law of partial pressures. Yeah, Raoult's law for ideal. Yeah, exactly. Are wow, Vashu. Amazing stuff. Good. Thank you for the answer. What about the rest of you? What about the rest of you? Vashu is on fire. Uh, you need help with this? Anyone solving this? I've got an answer. I'm not confirming this correct or, you know, needs some, you know, work. But great. Thank you for that answer. What about the rest of you? Have, do you have an answer for me? Do you want more time? Do you want me to go ahead and solve it? What do you guys think? Two, two, two. Three of you are giving me an answer of two. So it looks like... We are converging at that. Vaishnavi, good job. Kaveri, I see two new names. Thank you for being active here. That's amazing. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, the answer could be two. Let's look at the process. Let's look at the process because I feel that yeah, Sai vardhan has got it right as well. I'm going to go ahead and solve it. Okay, now, is that okay? Do you want more time or shall I go ahead and solve it? Give me a thumbs up if, if you're okay with me solving it. Or the other way around. Give me a thumbs up if you want me to wait. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll go ahead and do this, yeah, in the interest of time. Okay. Wow, Arul, good job. Everyone's giving me an answer of two. Good stuff. So an ideal solution, right, follows Raoult's law. P A is equal to P naught A times X A. Now X is the liquid phase. X is, when you write the word X, letter X is your liquid phase. Dalton's law says Y A is equal to Y B. Now this Y business has to do with vapor phase. Let me write that small things here. Y here, X here, right? Dalton's law says that, solve it. I'm solving it, Vaishnavi. Cool, absolutely, absolutely. Hey, NXT. Uh, there was a, isn't that a gaming peripheral maker, NXT? Uh, I've seen that on PC Master Race or also on Linus. Anyway, these are partial pressures, right? And which means that I've got to figure out what? I have, uh, I don't have P not A. I have P A, no, I don't even have P A. Total pressure I have, oh. So, okay, I have total pressure, but I don't know P A. I do know Y A. Ah, so you see where I, we are going with this, yeah? I have just two variables and two equations. What are my two variables? P not A and P A. These are my two variables. What are my nodes? I know this, I know this, I know this. So good stuff. Two variables, two equations. As my good friends, the math teachers would say, you can easily solve this. It's not an unsolvable equation, right? MM, Poon Raj, uh, how do we go with MM by the way? Did you convert atmosphere to MM? Is that how it works? I'll have to do that calculation myself. But anyway, the answer has to be given in atmosphere. So please be careful. <laughs> uh, we do know PT, we do know YA, we know XA. So let's go ahead and solve it now. Nah? So using this, these things, first let's do this. This is an easy calculation, right? You know that the mole fraction of substance A is 0 0.5 vapor phase. That's what I'm using here. This is substitution right here. And 0 0.8 is this total pressure. So PA is simply what? Okay, let's leave it as it is. Let's put this there, right? And when I do this XA business here, I can I can write this as well. I've substituted this. 0.5 into 0.8 is the same as half of 0.8. This is what I did. This is not rocket science. I just did that. This goes here. And this is going to be P0 into 0.2. Substitute, you get 2. All right? Wow, this frame looks cool. Okay, answers to atmosphere. Yeah, shall we move on? Any, any doubts? Any doubts? All right, great, great, Ashutosh. Thank you for the confirmation. 
let's go on to the next question. I know everybody, a lot of folks already gave me the answer, so let's go to the next one. The elevation of boiling point for one molar solution of non-volatile solute A is 3 Kelvin. The depression and freezing point for two molar solution of A in the same solvent is 6 Kelvin. <laughs> the ratio of, oh, the ratio of KB and KF. I have seen at least three questions like this of a similar nature in the last couple of years. At least three, if not more. I, I do this, this quickly. So I thought, okay, let's pick this. I thought this is a straightforward question, but TA JE wants to ask it a lot of times. So let's put it in. So there you go. Please solve it. I think it can be done in 30 seconds. If you need more time, sure. But I think our target should be 30 seconds, right? So let's run this. Got to get a quick sip of water. All right. Okay, Ankit's given me an answer. Do you want to just cross check that once? Thanks for giving me a quick answer. The goal of asking you to do this in a particular time is not to put any kind of pressure on you, but just to tell you that this should be a target in the J exam. In this discussion, we can go a little bit. You can take some time to do it. It's all right. I'm putting a timer just to create that, you know, the similar environment as a test. Okay. Sai is giving me an answer of one. Thank you for that answer. Thank you, Sai. Ankit is giving me an answer as well. What about the rest of you? Look, the only thing you got to do is find a ratio of, yeah, Absolutely, Hanish. I'll do that right away. I'll do that. Okay, let's go ahead and solve the question. See, delta TB is IKB times M, right? Delta TF is IKF times M. If you're worried about the I, I'm just writing I everywhere, right? I it has no uh, bearing on this question. Is is all my I ki zarurat nahi hai. But free mein rik lik diya. Aap bhi ek practice mein liye ki har samay I likhe. You taaki if you have I, then you don't forget it. All right, cool. So once you do this, substitute everything you have so far. I is immaterial, so we'll cancel that out. So again, you have two equations, two variables, KB by KF, but you have to just find the ratio. So we can just do this, right? KB by KF will give you some value and it happens to be 1. KB by KF and you just do this. Because this cancels out and you get 3. So 3 by 3 is simply 1, right? Uh, Hanish, I think at this point, the best, your best bet would be to uh, solve previous year questions. Uh, the Baiju's app has all the previous year questions. You have that actual, you open, uh, download the Akash Baiju's app. Right on top, this computer exams or assess thing. I've, I show, I've shown that to you in the last session. Yeah, click on the assess part. Do previous year questions. Abhi ke liye din mein to, this is the best thing to do. That's that's what you should focus on. And uh, yeah, all the best, all the best. Where should you see how why the answer is one? Yeah, uh, is that all right? Maybe you did something in a hurry, and that's why we got the answer that we did, right? Uh, which was three over there. Uh, there was Ankit also got half. Thank you for giving me an answer quickly, but it's all right. The time pit is just a target. Hey, good morning, Swati. Hi. Hi, nice to see you. Uh, the time was just to mainly, you know, give you that environment, but make sure that what the answer that you give is something you're sure of, right? Because the JE exam now has numerical entry. It's not those mark karke chale jao. So those mark, the MCQs are usually, you know, you can guess a little bit. Here, one has to be sure when they are marking it. So, are you okay with me uh, when, I, when I say that the answer is one? Shall I move on? That's all right. That's all right, Ankit. No problem. It's good that you realize it now. So, the main thing is that you read the question Read the question carefully. Yeah? The time that I'm putting right now is a target time you should have in the exam. Right now, if you take more time, I have no problem with it. We, we are here. We are here to help you. Okay, great. Let's go on to the next question. What do we have here? Are, ye, this is my favorite question of this paper. Like this, this whole thing, right? Uh, the freezing point of... <laughs> Dood ka dood, pani ka pani. The freezing point of diluted milk sample is found to be 0.2 degrees Celsius. Negative 0.2 degrees Celsius. While it should have been negative 0.5 degrees Celsius for pure milk. Achha. Pure milk ka ye hona chahiye. Pani mene dala to point, minus 0.2 ho gaya. Okay, cool. That makes sense, right? Because if it's pure water, then it would be 0 degrees Celsius. Okay. How much water has been added to the pure milk before the diluted sample? Try this out. I'm giving you a lot of time to do this. Uh, the actual calculation will take you 15 seconds, right? I'm giving you a lot of time because sochna hai, isko shuru kaise kare? And when I saw this question, I'm like, ye kya hai bhai? You know? And I'm like, this, I, we have to solve this in our paper. How, uh, you know, whatever this is, we have to solve this. I was so excited about when I saw this question and the answers and the options. Thank you for the answer, Vashu. Amazing, amazing stuff. She's taking the, uh, you know, the 15 second thing very seriously and I'm really proud of you. B or C, Vaishnavi giving me B or C, okay? I'm gonna 
leave the question out here. We can go back to the initial thing because this does not have options. Hold on. I'll, I'll leave it at this slide. B or C. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I've got two answers. Anybody else wants to give it a shot? Do you need a, or shall I just go ahead and solve this one? I admit, you know, it's one of those things where it requires a bit of an effort. It requires a bit of an effort to think of how to start. Ashutosh, amazing stuff. Good job. Good job, Ashutosh. Thank you for the answer. Kaberi, great. You guys are so smart. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is great. Yeah. So I think we have more or less arrived at the same answer. I've got three, four folks giving me B. Uh, Vaishnav is giving B or C. That's all right. I think we've got to the right answer. Let's let's go ahead and talk about what to do. Because my initial thought was, yeah, isko shuru kaise kiya jai? I gave you a hint, right? That negative 0 0.2 was, what was it? This was diluted. The pure milk was negative 0.5. Oh, and pure water would be 0. Which means that pure milk is not really pure, is it? B option. Absolutely right, Swati. Good job, Poorna. Fantastic, fantastic. Pure milk, not pure water, pure milk is not really pure. It's an emulsion. <laughs> that is the only point you have to be cognizant about. And this is something we have learnt in ninth grade. Na? In this matter around us pure, what are pure substances and all of that. I have just done that, so I remember that from ninth standard. So for pure milk, which is an emulsion, delta Tf is 0 0.5 degrees, 0 0.5 Kelvin. Okay. And for the diluted milk, it is 0 0.2 Kelvin. That just makes sense. I will put it as much water as I put in, the temperature will go towards 0 degrees Celsius. Right? So it makes sense. Ah, from negative 5, it went to negative 0 0.2. Beautiful question. <laughs> Whoever made this really hats off to you, sir or ma'am. This is an amazing question. I, I really enjoyed just reading it. I'm like, this is great. Anyway, so the mass of the solute remains the same in both the cases. Remember, like the, just like the other question we did where water was freezing out. Mass of solute does not change. Whatever the solute. In this case, we, have, we don't have to calculate it. Kfb same hoga. Whatever the Kf water is, right? It doesn't matter. The mass of the water is what changes because you're diluting it. Cool. So you take these, you know, ratios. Because just, just writing out the formula for you. This is what is changing, right? W of pure water and W, <laughs> w of pure water and, and W of the diluted water. Because diluted obviously has more water, which is why this value falls. It's the same thing. Denominator falls, then the value should decrease. Take a ratio, you get this. Now from here, how do you get to the answer? Look here. Pure water, if you take two cups, then I've added three more cups to it, it becomes a total of five. This is a hacky way of doing it. But that's it. If the examiner appreciates your effort so far and just given you the three to two. <clears throat> If, if they would have been a cruel person, they would have made it six cups to four cups. But yeah, they, they have appreciated your effort. And this is why I say it's a beautiful question. Because whoever thought of this, tell them, itna kar liya, marks de 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 unko, right? So, pure, if you assume that pure water is two parts, then diluted minus pure would be five minus two, which is three. And this is why the answer is B. Are you with me? Folks, anyone of you has a doubt? I really enjoyed this question. I'm so glad so many of you got this by yourself. You're all intelligent students. It's so good. Vaishnavi, are you, are you clear why it is B and not C? Because I saw you mark B or C. So are you clear? Yeah? Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Okay, great. Let's go to the next question now. Two open beakers, one containing a solvent and the other containing a mixture of that solvent with a non-volatile solute are together sealed in a container. Imagine what this looks like. Okay. And it's giving you four options. So volume of the solution and the solvent does not change. Ek ka badta hai, ek ka ghatta hai. It's permutation and combination of that. Changes does not change, something happens. Theek hai. Sochi iske baare mein. This is one of those things you have to just apply your theory. Shall I move away? Okay, let me move out to the side so you can see this clearly. I want to give you 30 seconds for this because that's how much it should take for you to solve this. Thoda sochne wali baat hai. Try career. Try it out. Tell me what you, what you think about this. When I get that sip of water. Think about this. Give me an answer, please. What do you guys think? No answer so far? You want the options once again? I'll put that slide back on. Hold on. Here you go. I see a C, 
Ankit has given me a C. Okay, cool. Ankit says that the volume of solution decreases and the volume of solvent increases. Okay, thank you for that answer. What, what about the rest of you? Okay, Sai is saying D. Volume of solution does not change and the volume of solvent decreases. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you for that answer. I'm just repeating what the scenario is like, right? Two open beakers. Let me, let me draw that for you, in fact. You know, here you go. So you've got two beakers. One has a solvent, one has a pure solvent, one has solution. And they're sealed. This nice blue box is trying to say that there's a seal over here. Let me write down. This is sealed. And over time, what happens? That's what's being asked for. Okay. I don't see anybody else giving me an answer. So I'm assuming that you're not so sure, which is a smart thing. If you're not sure, don't mark an answer. Because it has negative marking, right? So that's a smart thing to do as well. Solution is what? Well, this doesn't look like sealed. It looks like seeded or something. Now you see why I have written from right? Volume of solution increases and volume of solvent decreases. Excellent, Vaishu. Thank you for that answer. So, this pure solvent, right? Let's write down what we know about formula and stuff. That's important. Hey, Sumay, that's all right. What have I covered till now? That's a, I've covered, I think, seven questions. I did a couple of very fun ones. You should watch the replay. Replays are a video, whatever you want to call it. You should check that. I, I, there was one dude ka dude, pani ka pani wala saw that I really like. B, Vaishnavi. Thank you. Thank you. So, look at this one. Let's let's do this one and baki bhi hum log karte hai. Okay. So, P naught A would be the partial pressure of the solvent and P A is the pa partial pressure. P naught A is the pressure of the whole solvent, right? Vapor pressure of this pure solvent. And P A is the vapor pressure of this solution. Because it has some amount of solute in it. Now, what's the general idea? There's a potential difference. Remember, there's a potential difference means potential could be anything. And in this case, potential will try to equalize. I'm using the word potential. I hope you follow it. If you don't, that's all right. But the main idea is that that's the that's the key thing. Thermodynamics is the main driving force behind this. Okay. Kya hota hai, kyun hota hai? It's because of thermodynamics. Because the partial pressures have to kind of... <laughs> not partial pressures. Because the vapor pressures have to equalize, the only way that happens if all of the solvent goes into this, right? Because until Xa becomes 1, Pa, only then Pa is going to be equal to P0A. And this P0A is going to right? So it has to keep happening. Uh, interestingly, they don't ask you this. They ask you, kya hota hai? after some time, kya hota hai? which is why this question became a little weird and tricky, right? After some time, kya hota hai? Kisko malo? right? But if you take an extreme case, which is Xa equal to 1, then PA equal to P0A, then you understand right away, Achha, that's what happens. XA keeps increasing little by little. Ah, XA keeps increasing. What are you talking about? Little by little and this goes through. But XA cannot increase, right? So PA, this, this, the solvent from here keeps going this way. XA cannot increase. What am I saying? XA is basically the solvent, solute. That's fixed. The more fraction of solute. That's not going to change, right? So the whole thing is that it keeps going in until there's literally... No solvent left. That's the idle thing. And you know what? This is directly, this image and all of that is directly there in a theory book called Zoomdal. I've told you folks about this. It's an open secret. JE gets things here from, you know, directly because it's a really nicely written book. If you want, check it out. Not for today. If you're focusing on maybe the April attempt, open the book, read it. If you have an exam in three, four days, you can read it as a storybook. Don't try to cram what it has. It's a beautifully written book. Do check it out if you have the time. Anyway, uh, Okay, a little bit about the app, by the way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, this is important, right? Now, say, if you do want to check out a particular topic, just go to the search function of the Akash Baiju's app. You know how to download it, right? I mean, obviously, it's on the store, whatchamacallit, the app store, etc., etc. Hold on, how do I get a clicker here? I want to play this video. One moment. Laser pointer, pen, and... Okay, there you go. So, this is the Akash Baiju's app. You go to the search thing, type out solutions, okay? And there you go. It pops up right there. And you see all these videos, journeys, etc. And right at the end of the videos, by the way, there are some JE questions and a lot of practice questions you can see. Oh, Nitika is right there. Yeah, there you go. And you have tests and practice, etc., etc. All this you can check out. Videos after a point get paid, but everything else is for free. You can check it out whenever you want. Yeah. So if you want a particular topic, you want to revise, take, you know, it could be a concept, need not be the whole chapter. This is how you do it. Download the app, go to the, whatchamacallit, the search bar and type in whatever you want. Yeah. And it will give you what you need. Cool. Back to questions. Next question. All right. PYQ. Yes, Poon. We are here. Of the following, Sumed, are you here? Of the following four aqua solutions, total, this is a beautiful question. Nice, nice question. Total number of those solutions whose freezing point is lower than that of 0.1 molar C2H5OH. 
is this is an integer answer ठीक है don't give me one or two or three or four like don't tick that you don't have to tick these guys oops hold on time has started but you don't have to tick these that's not the focus you have to tell me how many of these would have freezing point lower than that of 0.1 molar C2 H5OH this has to do I'll give you a hint with the Van't Hoff factor because all the concentration is the same what would be different is the Van't Hoff factor try it out please Ankit, no, you have to do J.A. Advance, you have to do J.A. Why do you want to like stress yourself out, bro? You have premium system, that's great, that's great. You'll see a lot of, we have a lot of J.A. and NEET practice, I think. Those are mainly advanced questions, but if you go to right to the end, I think that has J.A. main and NEET things. Right to the end, right of the journey thing, the scroll thing I just showed you. In the journey mode, right to the end. Uh, or sorry not journey the library mode right to the end the last ones have je questions je and even in the journey mode you have that yeah so check that out journey is a personalized mode uh, all right I'm, i've been given some answers while i was answering mr ankit's uh, thing man i can't help it anybody ask me about the app i give them answer right away because i've i've helped make the app so it was you know make all the content there okay anyway so <laughs> that's my catnip point one i what is point one porn i'm a little okay look I for ethanol is one, right? I've seen a couple of answers, people saying four. And you take the mock silly, are Vashu, you are a rock star, Vashu. That's great. Amazing. Hats off to you. You're 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 amazing. You're full marks for effort and that's all you've got to do, right? The whole focus of JE is the effort that you make. Yeah? The result to aapke That's in the Bhagavad Gita as well. You focus on the process. The result is immaterial and you you you've got the focus in the right place, Vashu. Good job, please. Let's follow her example. Yeah. Purn, so here's what I'm going to say, right? See, the thing is, because I is equal to 1 for ethanol, every other solution will have a freezing point lower than that of ethanol. Because all of these, look at this, this has 5, this has what, 3, this has 2, this has 4, right? This, These are I values for all of these, right? And all of, oh, yeah, there you go, <laughs> on the other side. Since I is greater than 1 for all of them, and since you have the same concentration, the depression and freezing point will be much more for all of them. So all of them would have a freezing point lower than that of this. So that's why I said it's a nice, nice question, beautifully made question. Answer is 4. Yeah, cool. Poon, do you follow that? Is that all right? Yeah? Everybody else on the chat, are you guys okay? All the four, I think everyone's got, which chapter is this? Uh, current, this is solutions. Right? Vant of factor comes from solution, especially colligative properties part of the solution chapter. Solution and colligative properties, so it's from that part of the chapter. So, uh, I've used this Vant of factor idea and basically since dissociate hota hai na, so dissociate, when it dissociates, you get a lot more ions than expected. If you get a lot more ions, then that, you know, makes the vapor pressure fall a lot more. If the vapor pressure falls a lot more, then the freezing point falls. How do I know this? This graph. For all my answers for temperature related things is this graph. This is solution. This is pure solvent. Right? This is delta Tf. So if I keep dropping this further and further, then the delta Tf keeps increasing. This is what it means. Graph are confusing a bit lagra, but this is the most beautiful thing. This one graph covers the whole chapter, yeah. Pura delta dv tf and pressure. Ideas, but with this, sure, osmotic pressure, you got to do a separate this thing. Speaking of osmotic pressure, next question on osmotic pressure. Ah, we're almost done, we're almost done. One last question is 1.2 ml of acetic acid is dissolved in water to make 2 liters of solution. Achha, kuch conversion karna padega. 2 liter molality has to do with weight of solvent, right? And this also has to do with mass of solute. Kuch conversion karna padega. The depression in freezing point observed for this strength of acid is this. Okay. Again, delta Tf is there, given to you. All right. Percentage dissociation of the acid. Somebody asked me right in the beginning, right? How do I figure out association? Like dissociation? Hai? This is definitely dissociation, right? You put any acid or a base in water, it dissociates. And dimerization, polymerization, trimerization, that's when association happens. Yeah. If molar mass increases, then I falls. If molar mass decreases because number of particles increase, I increases. Okay. Quick theory lesson. Agar aap samaj paaye to great. Otherwise, thoda sa theory revise kariye. Is sawaal ko karte hain. Let's do this one. Density of acetic acid is given. You will need that to convert this. And 
this is uh, you know what to do water 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 ka density is one okay you'll figure this out molar mass is given to you let's try it out maybe take a little bit more than 45 seconds i'm okay if you take a slightly longer time here kare isko let me know if you need any hints i've given you a lot of hints already i think we'll be able to do this maybe it'll take a little bit of time but we should be able to do this one how's that going the thing in this question and it's a little bit you know uh, interesting is ki you have to uh, thoda math intensive hai yeah poorn raj oh my god fastest finger first good job good job thank you for giving me an answer yeah uh, math is a little complicated this is one of those places where i feel that jay should allow you to use a calculator kyunki iska math yaar karne mein thoda effort to lagta hai but it's okay if you even if you get most of the way there you'll be able to figure out you know what the answer is uh try it out try it out five vaishnavi thank you poon two people giving me the same answer so shall i go on and give you the solution rest of the folks on this yeah uh do you want some more time to solve it all right i'll tell you what i'll go ahead and solve this so i kf times m i've given you the same equation as before that's tf right delta tf now m i'm writing down the formula again and again and again so that you internalize it this is not for me this is for you you write down the formula as many times so you never forget it denominator is 1 kg of solvent you have 2 kg of solvent right because 2 liters almost same as 2 the second is very tiny volume okay very very tiny volume interesting thing is it's dissolved water to make and the density we are almost ek hi hai iski theek hai so that's why i'm saying confidently that the denominator is 2 kg per sol 2 2 kg Anyway, the mass of solute is 1.2 mL, which is the volume times the density, which is 1.02. Do this bit, and you will get the this thing right here, right? And from there onward, it's very direct. You just have to substitute the mass. This is given to be 60 gram per mole. That's the molar mass, right? Oh, it's already given to you. Why am I writing it again? Molar mass 60 gram. So the ma mole of solute you find out the denominator would be the mass of solvent in kilogram. Put that there, two kilogram, and then you get the number of moles. That's it. then you get molarity from molarity you get to back calculate this you have these things you don't know i we are trying to find out i folks okay i hope that part is clear i mean i know that some folks may be watching this later maybe they have not revised this theory so the goal here is to find out i because i is not going to be equal to 1 because dissociation happens why does dissociation happen let me let me put that down for you ch3coh right it's a weak acid बहुत कम डिसोसिएट होता है बट होता है जिसकी वजह से डेल्टा टी एफ इज अटल बिट मोर देन एक्सपेक्टेड प्रॉपर्टी राइट इफ यू मोर देन डेल्टा टी एफ विल इंक्रीज और राधा फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट विल फॉर मोर देन वॉट इज एक्सपेक्टेड ठीक है सो टोटल मोल्स इज वन प्लस एल्फा दिस इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट इफ इंस्टेड ऑफ एसिडिक एसिड यू सम वियर्ड एसिड लाइक से एच थ्री पीओ फोर इन दैट केस दिस विल बी डिफरेंट बिकॉज यू हैव टू Uh, you know, form your equation and then figure out. Oh, acha, this gives maybe three H plus and one PO four minus, etc., etc. Three minus. It doesn't happen in one step. Yeah, even in equilibrium, th three steps, etc. But, ठीक है. This number would change depending on what kind of acid or base you have. ठीक है. So don't monkey is always one plus alpha. I I remember somebody asking the starting right. How do you know dissociation association? Do this calculation. If you're sure that it's a mono basic acid, then you can write it down. Uh, if you're not sure. यू नो कि अच्छा तीन दो है देन ये इसको कैलकुलेट करिए आप ठीक है कि ये व्हाट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ मोल्स एट इक्विलिब्रियम और द डिसोसिएशन बिट सो आई हैव गॉट आई टू बी 0.5 नाउ आई पुट इट 1 प्लस अल्फा अल्फा इज 0.05 व्हिच इज 5% दैट्स द आंसर एज योर टू ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स हैव पॉइंटेड आउट एनी डाउट्स ऑन दिस फोक्स एनी डाउट्स और शल वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यस थैंक यू वैशू एब्सोल्युटली यू आर राइट आई अप्रोक्सीमेटेड टू दिस 0.05 बट यू आर राइट इट्स 0.049 इज इज अ मोर relevant thing to say great swati thank you vaishnavi all right let's go to the next one this is the last question for today and i have a very interesting theory inside which you may be familiar with but i find that some students find it uh, the concept of osmotic pressure a little bit complicated in fact mujhe bhi thoda mushkil hi lagta tha when i was in school i was like osmotic pressure hota kya hai yaar i was able to solve numerical right? that's easy there's one formula and solve it but what does it mean we'll talk about that just after this question 2.5 gram of protein containing only glycine if you've done biology or biochemistry you know what glycine is Yeah. <laughs> All right. Dissolved in water to make 500 mL of solution. The osmotic pressure of this solution at 300 Kelvin is found to be 5 into 10 power minus 3 bar. The total number of glycine units present in the protein is usually protein the mass बहुत बड़ा होता है and we'll see that from this. Yeah. Look at this tiny 
well actually it's pretty big osmotic pressure pretty huge osmotic pressure in fact uh, we'll look at this we'll look at this so you got just one formula to use you know what that is right pi equal to i c r t let's use that formula and you have that you will get some very crazy mass very huge mass and then you say the mass of this ah so the mass of this is this total mass is this divide that you get total number of polymers okay let's try to do this question i'll then i'll give you the theory which is what i'm excited about all right i've given you some time for this because again this is one of those things where math thoda karna padega uh yeah numerical entry has become a little complicated in j main in my opinion because of the math uh the concepts also are very interesting but the math is getting like the calculation is getting a little complicated these days try it out i'm going to get a sip of water any answers or any path that you folks are taking do you want me to solve this or are you all right with this wow poor raj on fire giving i think we show some competition good stuff thank you for the answer do you folks agree with him solve it all right rashmi sure so pi equal to icrt right this you know the main idea is that the molar mass that you get in the end divide that by molar mass of glycine and you'll get the number of units that's the final thing but to get the molar mass of protein you got to use this pi equal to icrt business right c is simply concentration is moles by volume in liter now from here i think you should be able to get the mass very easily right do this calculation look i am writing down everything that's known to me 5 into 10 power minus 3 is given to me let me check the units this is bar this is liter bar per kelvin per mole okay so this works this is kelvin this works okay 300 300 kelvin luckily c is the only thing i need to get i got c to be 2.02 the the reason why i want to stick to this and not take an approximation of 5 i would usually in all my amazingness always say ne paanch le lo yaar but this case please don't do that you'll see why I took a few approximations and five kind of works, but if you take a point zero eight three at times, I've told students to do right. Take the one by twelve, boss. Don't do that here. Not here. <laughs> Not in numerical entry questions. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Veshu, this is your. You guys are great with these calculations. Yeah. I found these. I found these calculations to be quite hairy. Anyway, don't do this. Don't do the one by twelve approximation. That is good in MCQs. Here, please, for numerical entry, focus on getting the numbers right. Okay. Now moles from there is are easy, right? You have this as a concentration you have 500 ml of solution which means that oh this is the number of moles in 1 liter half of that is going to be the number of moles in half a liter 500 ml right so you've got this now the mass that you get with this expression look at that is 24752 which is why your friends vaishu and porn are giving you such huge numbers 330 how do we get there look here you, it's been given to you that this protein has only glycine the molar mass of glycine is what two carbon atoms uh five hydrogen atoms and a couple of nitrogen no just one nitrogen hold on oops that's already here accounted for and two oxygen atoms that's what this is doing and you get the molar mass to be 75 g per mole plug that in here 24752 divided by that 75 will give you the actual number which is the answer 330 Are you okay with that, Vaishu? And everybody else on this? Not Vaishu, sorry. Vaishu got a good answer. Vaishnavi, similar answers. Vaishu, Vaishnavi, and Vaishnavi separately. Vaishnavi, are you okay? Okay with this? And everybody else who's here, and maybe folks watching later can also revise this if this part was not, you know, some part was not clear. The main idea was plugging this in the end, right? You get a huge number. Please don't mark this as the answer. I've seen students just put this number as the answer. right but it's asking you to the whole this has this is where i said you need a little bit of bio to know ki yaar proteins are very very big molecules yeah where you have repeating units of glycine a g c t etc etc that's different that's dna my my bio is not good i mean it's not even i mean it's not even basic bio but anyway so i know proteins so proteins have <laughs> proteins are big they are huge and their molar mass is very big that's what i know <laughs> all right uh Vishnu, we are going to be done soon, so you have to. All right, let we'll get done in like a couple of minutes, yeah. 
Okay, so let's look at a couple of theory insights, right, very quickly. We're almost done with the session. It's all chill now. Osmosis. Something that students find a little bit difficult at times, right? So I've drawn this YouTube. This is what is... <laughs> that was not intentional. I've drawn a YouTube. I can't stop laughing inside. Anyway, since we are on YouTube, sorry. Anyway, out of that... Out of my system. Look, you've got a solution and a pure solvent, right? Let's say on this side, on the green side is pure solvent. And you've got a solution on the blue side. This right here is a semi-permeable. Let me write it somewhere. Else. Something else is going to come there. This is a semi-permeable membrane. What does a semi-permeable membrane or an SPN do? It stops the flow of solid particles, right? It lets water pass through. Hmm. Why would water pass through? Because the concentration of water here or let's say solvent, let's not say water. The concentration of solvent here is high. The concentration of solvent here is low, right? So water would flow in a particular direction and you know what direction. <laughs> solvent would flow in a particular direction. It would flow from this side to that side, basically from green to blue. Do you agree there? Give me a thumbs up. This is important. We're going to get that in a couple of minutes and you can, you know, chill come back at 3 o'clock, have a nice nap siesta and come back at 3 o'clock for an session. Do you follow this? Is that alright? That the flow of water or the solvent is going to be from the green side to the blue side. It would want to do that because of the semi-permeable membrane. Now, this wanting is basically the thermodynamic idea. Once it's done that, the pressure applied by that extra height, that is osmotic pressure. Okay? That is what you're calculating with this pi equal to ICRT. That is what you're actually calculating. But why are you calculating it? Because yeah, at times you don't want this to happen. You want to make sure that it stays that way. There's a, there is a semi permeable membrane. Uh, sometimes you want water to pass, not pass and all that. So what you do is on this side, on the blue side, you apply a pressure equal to the osmotic pressure so that there is no movement of solvent. This is what I want you to internalize about osmotic pressure. This is what pi means. Okay. And this is where everything ties in so beautifully and so nicely. If you have a pressure greater than pi, that is reverse osmosis. And that's the biggest way to get clean water in uh, you know places like the desert you have salt water that's the only way they have water and they have huge this you know plants where they have reverse osmosis and even you know the all these ro things filters in your house this is the thing they use they they apply a pressure higher than the osmotic pressure that's why there are pumps and all of that and it you know cleans that water and what you get is an outlet from here all right cool that's all i had for you today it stops the movement of solvent. That's what ha happens is this osmotic pressure. I have a couple of more questions, but I think I'll leave them as kind of homework things. You check out this, the Telegram channel. These notes will come up there. There are a couple of very interesting questions that I want you to solve from there. Uh, thanks. Thanks for sticking around, all of you. It was a great session. And all the best for the JE exam. I know it's right around the corner. And check out the videos on the channel. The rest of you have done a lot of solution videos. Oh, I remember on my last video, you guys have left some comments on that they want to do chemical kinetics. So I think on day one or day two of a marathon, Rakhi has done very nice sessions on chemical kinetics. Check that out. And electrochemistry, somebody else wanted, that also we have covered. That I have covered, in fact, on the thermodynamic session. That was day five or ek comment higher. So basically, whatever session you guys want, I think we have covered all of them. Just look at all the marathon sessions in the last week. Na? Check those out. Yeah, all right. Very nice having all of you. Thank you all for your time. I'll see you around. Yeah. Bye. All the best for Jay. You'll do a great job. Focus on the effort.